Cubs baseball on CSN Chicago is presented by State Farm. We're in Atlanta. Turner Field, the site for Cubs baseball tonight. It's the first of a three game weekend series between the Cubs and Braves. Great to have you with us for Cubs baseball along with Jim Deshays. I'm Len Casper. We'll tell you more about the draft. The Cubs first pick was in the third round a little bit earlier tonight and the Cubs yesterday actually made a deal to bring back a guy who was a big part of last year's team. Yeah welcome back uh, Chris Coglin. They had traded him to Oakland in spring training. They bring him back now for Ayers Mendy Alcantara and uh, Chris put up very good numbers in two seasons with the Cubs. He had 16 home runs last year a career best to make room for Coglin on the roster. Tommy Listella placed on the DL with little uh, hamstring strain and Anthony Rizzo has uh, tightness in his back so Javi Baez will get the start at first base. Uh, Jason Hamill will pitch tonight for the Cubs. He has been absolutely terrific. Yeah and, and yet again was last time out he gave up a two out walk and then a home run to Jake Lamb in the first inning of his last start and then just shut the door on the Diamondbacks only allowed that one hit retired 18 of the final 19 batters. He face had that slider working and really dominated that Diamondback lineup. So Hamill tonight for the Cubs. It'll be Bud Norris who's kind of bounced back and forth between the rotation and the bullpen for the Atlanta Braves. You have the team with the best record in baseball. The Cubs come in at 41 and 17. The Atlanta Braves have the worst record in baseball 17 and 42. Jason Hayward back home. Cubs and Braves next. Cubs baseball on CSN Chicago is brought to you in part by your Chicago area in Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois through it all. Ford inviting you to check out their fuel efficient lineup at your local Ford store or at localfordstores.com. And by Southwest Airlines. Transparency. Low fares. Nothing to hide. Atlanta native Dexter Fowler gets a hit. Vinny's Beverage Depot will donate $100 to the Greater Chicagoland Food Depository. Cubs and Braves, nice night. It's hot, but we are in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta? We should come up with a nickname. Call it yeah. Hot Atlanta, maybe? Warm Atlanta. Here's the Cubs. Atlanta. <laughs> Southwest starting lineup. It is Fowler leading it off. The former Brave Jason Hayward. You see his career numbers in this ballpark, which will close after the season. Bryant and Zobris, they both homered the other day. No Anthony Rizzo, as I mentioned, he's got a tight back. Montero catching. Baez was going to play third, but he moves to first. Russell at short, Almora Jr. in left, and Hamill pitching. Well, let's check in with the Braves defensively. Uh, pretty good defensive outfield here. Malik Smith, the speedster, he can handle center, but he's in left because Ender Inciarte is an outstanding outfielder. He's in center. Marquez has won a couple gold gloves. He's in right infield defense, not quite as tight 
as the outfield Adonis Garcia in particular has had his struggles there at third base he's got Darno at short Peterson at second he's just back up from the minor leagues Freddie Freeman at first Tyler Flowers is behind the plate and Alexis pursuing perfection starting pitcher for the Atlanta Braves tonight is David Bud Norris one and seven with a 528 earned run average making his seventh start he's been a lot better out of the pen than he has been as a starter although pretty solid last time he took the mound as a starting pitcher five days ago. Ball one low on a fastball to Fowler. 91 degrees as we get started. That's low and inside. Two and nothing. You know it's not hot. What's that? The umpires. Because they're cool customers. Barbara Copa Conroy meals. That's called making an adjustment. Because what I was going to say, what's not hot is the Atlanta Braves here in their home ballpark, nine and twenty-three here at uh, Turner Field. Actually, six and twenty-three. Six and twenty-three. Twenty-nine games. Yeah. Boy, I practiced all afternoon to read that stat. <laughs> They're off to their worst start since 1911, when they were in Boston. Yeah, and the Cubs. They're off to their best start since 1918 through this many games. If they were in the same division, the Cubs would have a 24 and a half game lead on the Braves. Dexter Wet, that's strike three. For the first out tonight. Uh, Norris uh, has not been much of a strikeout pitcher this year. Strikeout rate is uh, well below league average, but typically he is. He's got a good heater and go 90. Three to 95 uh, and, and a hard swing and miss slider. A nice reception for Jason Hayward as he strides to home plate. That came up through the Braves system. Made his major league debut against the Cubs. 2010. Norris the pitch and Hayward fouls. And Cub fans will remember this home run. His first major league at bat off Carlos Zambrano, and it went a long way. Oh, one is a called strike two, and we'd like to welcome all our viewers watching on Griswold Cooperative Telephone in Griswold, Iowa. No way. And Come hopefully on, the Clark. Griswolds are watching too. One and two. Norris started the year in the rotation, uh, made five starts early and, and really struggled. Moved to the bullpen and, and he flourished in the pen. He has a 196 ERA as a reliever this year, a 7.48 as a starting pitcher. Well, he has fanned the first two. And Mike Fultonevich is on the disabled list, so Norris jumped back into the rotation. Last time around for him. If you're wondering, I mentioned the 1911 version of the Atlanta Braves. They were the Boston Rustlers. And they went 44 and 107. The Rustlers? Yeah. Check swing foul by Chris Bryant. Previously, they had been. The Red Stockings, the Bean Eaters, and the Doves. 1912, they became known as the Boston Braves. Brief time in the 30s, they were the Bees, but ever since they've been the Braves. And they're on the move again, and they've moved from Boston to Milwaukee to Atlanta. And they've gone from Fulton County Stadium to Turner Field, and next year they've got a brand new ballpark and it'll open up in the suburbs. Up in uh, Cobb County. Man, that was Pretty crisp here in the early going. Sun Trust Park. Well, it's going to be mostly fastball slider from Norris. He'll cut his fastball on occasion. Doesn't use the changeup very often. Bryant sends one high in the air out of the deep left center, and it's going to be run down by the left fielder, Malik Smith. 
Cubs go in order. Braves coming up against that man right there. Under their manager Brian Snicker recently replaced Freddie Gonzalez in Ciarte. Darno Freeman at the top. Marquecas, Garcia, Flowers in the middle. Peterson just brought back to the minors. Norris, a pitcher, and Smith batting ninth. The Braves, Southwest line. And the Cubs defensively. Almora gets a start in left. Uh, been very impressive throw the other day in Philadelphia. Fowler center, Hayward. Back home and right here at Turner Field. Bryant Russell Zobris Baez, third to first. Miguel Montero behind the plate. And Alexis pursuing perfection starting pitcher for the Cubs tonight. The big right hander, Jason Hamill, who's having a brilliant year. 7 and 1 with a 2.14 ERA. That's the sixth best in the game. 63 innings pitched. He's allowed just 44 hits, 24 walks, punched out 56. Ender in Ciarte swims away and grounds to the shortstop. Russell makes the play. Addison has a lot of family and friends in from Pensacola, his hometown, about a six hour drive from here. Talking with David Ross, he lives in Tallahassee, Florida, about four hours away, and he said, I played for the Braves. I've been Basically a National Leaguer my whole career even when I played with Boston we played here in Atlanta. And I always just would have a handful of people who wanted to come but he said because I'm retiring. Everyone has come out of the woodwork. And we all wanted to be here this weekend. So he will definitely catch on Sunday as John Lester will get the start Jake Arietta goes tomorrow. Line drive off the bat of Chase Darno. Caught by Zobrist. Pretty well hit by Darno, who's been swinging the bat well of late. But he just had bad aim there. Zobrist moving just before the pitch. Almost like he had ESP or something. A little tip of the cap to the dugout to whoever was moving him. Here's Freddie Freeman. Nine home runs. The Braves as a team have hit 23. So if you take him out of the mix, they've hit 14 in 59 games. Yeah, they trail Kansas City by 24. The Royals rank 29th. That's so they're not even halfway to the team that's above them in, in that department. Three better than Mark Trumbo, who's hit 20 for the Orioles. Ooh, could have been. Slider at the top of the zone, but he didn't get the call. 
Tenth career start for Jason against the Braves. These matchups don't always mean a whole lot because the Braves have definitely changed a fair amount over the past few years. Freeman five for eight, two homers off Hamill as the Cubs are shifting to the right on the infield against him. He finds a sign he wants and Freeman just got a piece of it. Mentioned Freddie Gonzalez fired after a nine and twenty eight start. The Braves were not expected to do a whole lot this year. Brian Snitker who was uh, managing their triple A team takes over in his 40th season in the Braves organization 60 years old first major league manager uh, to get his first major league win at 60 or older since Bobby Maddock for the 1980 Blue Jays when he was 64. Snitker, a former minor league uh, catcher and infielder, lifer in this organization, and a coach at the big league level, been a longtime minor league manager. He is a Decatur, Illinois native. That was drafted him in 1976. Nice work, Jason Hamill in the first. Presented by State Farm. Come to the hottest ticket in town. Your best option for future games is Monday through Thursday. Very limited availability on weekends throughout the summer. Don't wait. Plan now. Visit Cubs.com today. Next homestand, uh, Pirates and Cardinals in town. Hamill with a one, two, three first. 11 pitches. Norris on 13 pitches made. Ben Zobrist will lead it off, batting left handed. Takes a fastball for a strike. A couple of the quick notes on Brian Snitker. Uh, one of his teammates in college at the University of New Orleans was Mike Quaddy, former Cubs manager. And I mentioned he was drafted in 76 by the Cubs, did not sign. His minor league career was all with the Braves. And there's a base hit in the left. Zobrist is aboard with the first hit of the ball game. Two hit game for Ben on Wednesday in Philadelphia, including a home run. So it looks like he's breaking out of that little uh, funk he was in. Revs it up. 
Good short stroke, and that, that's always been an issue for Norris, uh, uh, left-handed hitters. Uh, again, this year, lefties hitting 292 against him coming into this game. And I think it's just been the inability to really command a changeup. Kind of limits his options. A couple years ago with Baltimore, Bud was a 15 game winner, 15 and 8 with a 365 earned run average. Outside for a ball on Miguel Montero. Bad crowd tonight, fireworks night, and there are a lot of Cub fans here, as you can imagine. Outside 2 0. Taylor likes to take that big swing out of heater. Fastball count, especially with Norris out there. Eight on it. Got one. Good to see Chris Coughlin back in Cubs Blue. Uh, BP, I saw he had his Oakland A's green shoes on, his green Oakland A's bag. Swap all that stuff out. He's playing uh, a lot of infield though with the A's. Yeah, I was talking with Joe. He'll make starts in left, possibly first, if needed to give Rizzo a breather. Taking some ground balls at second and third. And he might play late in a ball game. A whirlwind year for him. He was traded on the same day Dexter Fowler was re signed. And off to a slow start with the A's. A's are in last place in the AL West. Pretty big leap in the standings for Chris Coglin. Down 11 and a half to up 10. There's a base hit for Montero. A couple of opposite field singles to start the inning, and here comes Baez. As Baez steps in, let's check out the mini Let's Motor player profile. Off his first career four hit game on Wednesday and off to a great start here in June. Got a chance to do some early damage here against Bud Norris. I'll be one of five former first round draft picks in the lineup for the Cubs tonight. Swing and a miss. The Cubs did not have a first round pick in the draft. The first pick was on day two of the draft. And that coming up. Play ball. Darno Peterson, and they just turned it. But Brandon Hyde's pointing at second. He wants to make sure Joe checks with the video room to make sure Peterson was standing on second. So could be a big call if Peterson was not on the bag. It's convenient hop for Darno. He's kind of in that tweener zone, and I'm so, I'm surprised to see him use the underhand flip there. That was a long way to make that underhanded toss. And we'll see if Peterson looked like he was probably in pretty good shape there. Definitely worth checking. And Joe will not challenge, so it's a big double play. Yeah. Um, We've seen that in a game. I don't think we've seen it in our games. I haven't seen it in any other games I've been watching or paying attention to that the 
the, the neighborhood play where a guy's been called. I haven't seen safe it. because the, the, the yeah. middle infielder uh, abandoned ship too quickly down there. Field back with two outs, runner at third, and a 1 0 count on Addison Russell, who did not play on Wednesday. So he should be nice and fresh after a couple of days off. It's a big outfield here at Turner Field. 400 straight away, but the power alley in right center is 390, 380 to left center. See how they're deployed for Russell. And see, are they really cheating towards right center? And, and to, to take something away in that direction, you're giving up a lot. There's a lot of room out there in left center for Russell. And Ciarte playing fairly shallow as well. Two one is a strike. It's two and two. This ballpark will no longer be a major league facility after a two decade run. As you kind of look around and see all the Braves uniforms, you think of Andrew Jones roaming in center. Russell held on appeal. It's three and two. Chipper Jones stopped by the Cubs clubhouse before the game today. Yeah. Fitty fitty. Um, checking in with David Ross, no doubt. Yep. Is he, does Chipper have an official role? Is he like a team ambassador, I'm guessing? I'm not sure. Swing and a miss, so Norris gets out of the inning. He was dressed like a retired baseball player, let's put it that way. <laughs> By T Mobile. Let's see what the Cubs have done, starting with the 104th overall pick. Five guys out of college, four right handed pitchers, and a catcher. And you see at the bottom, first overall pick was a high school outfielder. First time a high school outfielder was taken with the number one overall pick since Delman Young went to Tampa Bay in 2003. Cubs, uh, True to their word, so they were going to try to add pitching depth to the organization. So first four picks, right-handed pitchers. Tom Hatch, their first pick was the uh, Big 12 Pitcher of the Year at Oklahoma State. Former Oriole teammates matching up. Hamill to Nick Markakis in a strike. Speaking of the Phillies, Vince Velasquez, who had to leave the other day uh, against the Cubs after just two pitches, was put on the DL today with a right bicep strain. The MRI looked okay. 
Slicing drive into the corner, and Alfaro Jr. made the catch. What a play. Wow, as advertised, we heard so much about Almora's outfield play. We've seen him a little bit in spring training. This is a spectacular play by Almora. He's getting a big ovation from the boys out in the bullpen. <laughs> this kid made the defensive play of the game on Wednesday. Big outfield assist to nail a runner at the plate. Swing and a fly ball out into deep center. Back toward the wall, and it's gone. Adonis Garcia with his first home run since opening day. Talk about uh, how um, anemic this Braves offense is. Just the 24th home run they have hit this year. Things have turned in a hurry. Cubs looking good at the top of the inning, but the double play cleaned things up, and now he picks on this uh, breaking ball from Jason Hamill right on the outside corner. Great effort by Fowler right off the top of the wall. A four to home run replay. It is one nothing Atlanta. Tyler Flowers takes ball one. Garcia homered against the Nationals on April 4th. His first homer since. Swing and a miss. Good slider. One and two. Terrell with a quick look back at Sean Barber. Not getting that call. Cup fans, we have five players leading the All-Star Game voting. Let's keep it going. Vote early, vote often, vote now at Cubs.com slash vote. You can vote up to five times a day. And up to 35 times total. There is a future All Star. Quite sure what year. Deep drive to left, and this one will get out. A long blast by Tyler Flowers. Braves apparently have not read the stat sheet. They're not supposed to be doing this. Jason came into this ball game having allowed just four home runs all year. Now to go back to back on him. It's number three for Flowers. Bouncer to first. Baez has it and retires Jace Peterson. Breaking ball. This time the slider. Up. Oh, Flowers gets the head out in front. Gives it a pretty good ride. That's our forward home run replay on the second home run of the back to backs. First time the Braves have hit consecutive home runs this season. So Bud Norris, a pitcher batting eight. Has a two nothing lead. Fastball in for a strike. And yeah, Norris can swing it a little bit. So the story goes David Stefan Norris earned his nickname Bud. He walked into a restaurant with his family and Ordered a beer when he was three years old. And a base hit. You buying that story? 
Yeah, I remember when, when uh, he was with the Astros. That was. Did he order a bud? I, I better be buying it because we used to tell it. So. Not that I'm. Above making stuff up. I'm assuming they did not give him the beverage. <laughs> Let me see your ID, young man. Eddie Perez, the first base coach. So, some hard hit balls here in this second inning. Two have left the yard. It's Malik Smith, the left fielder, batting in the ninth spot. And he lines one into center. He's catching too much of the plate here. Kevin Seitzer, the Braves hitting coach. Been encouraging his guys to be a little more aggressive. Smith jumping on that first pitch. An intriguing guys, very very fast. He has not been an effective base stealer here at the big leagues this year in his rookie season, but he has outstanding speed. Ciarte has really struggled since being acquired from Arizona. He's had some DL time. Big game on Wednesday in San Diego at three hits. Doing a double and a triple. Very good outfielder. So there's been all this talk about the Braves kind of building toward next year when they open their new ballpark. I think they'll be kind of at the end of that process by opening day of 2017. They still have a lot of holes to fill. Yeah, they've, they've acquired a lot of talent, in, in, you know, in their minor league system with all the trades they've made. From what I've read, a lot of really good arms. So it sounds like they're kind of trying to go back to the to the glory days where they're you know pitching centric. Comes Fowler over into left center, and that will end the inning. Back to back homers, Garcia and Flowers, and the Braves strike first. By Coors Banquet 44 years ago today. Number 44 passed Willie Mays for second on the all time home run list. His 14th career grand slam, June 10th, 1972. Cameron Hank. I saw him hit 703. 
Yeah. Not that that was a milestone, but he was chasing Ruth's record. He was kind of must see TV, and if sure. he when he was in Montreal, we went up to watch him play. To have hit 755 homers to be in that club, I believe you do. It's very exclusive. It's <laughs> so here's uh, Al Mora who made that big play on Wednesday to keep it a scoreless game in the first inning. Great sliding catch and foul ground tonight. Later on in that game in Philadelphia. Got his first major league hit and RBI. But how about this? Did you know he was getting married this week? And then he got called up to the big leagues. I did not so know that. He and his fiance had to had to delay things. You could marry him, Kate. Aren't you as a play-by-play -play guy? Aren't you credentialed to perform a wedding ceremony? It's like as captain of a ship. I, I think. don't know. I think, yeah, I, I think it's a little known fact. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, if he asks, I will consider it. One and two. Here it is. And that one lashed into left. And it's going to get to the wall. Almora racing into second. He's got a double. He was not in the original lineup. He got in there because of the Rizzo injury that moved Bias to first, Bryant from left to third, and got Almora in there and left. Well, that's an impressive swing of the bat. Uh, down in the count, I and mean, a lot of hitters are defensive to get on top of a high fastball the way he did is most impressive. And Norris is firm here tonight. He's throwing quite hard. Showing off his skill set with a great sliding catch in left field. Now, a quick bat. Checking off a bunch of boxes this week. Major League debut. First hit, first RBI, now first double. And Jason Hamill can help his own cause. Which he's kind of made a, made a habit out of. Get him in would be great. Get him over would be just fine. Swing and the miss. So I said Chipper Jones was dressed like a, a retired baseball player. People on Twitter were like, what does that mean? Well, there you go. Because you were saying, is he in some co official capacity? I'm saying his uh, official capacity is Chipper Jones. Love and life. One and two. Third all time among switch hitters in home runs behind uh, Mickey Mantle and Eddie Murray. 468 career home runs for Chipper Jones. That one kicks away. Al Mora to get to third. A wild pitch. Uh, Chipper is eligible for the Hall of Fame next year. Well, that's uh, he's a Hall of Fame slam isn't dunk. He? Yeah. yeah. It's tricky for third baseman for some reason. But. MVP, batting title, World Series ring. I checked all the boxes. As you said, one of the greatest switch hitters of all time. Infield back. Hamill, right field corner. Foul by a couple of feet. It's going to be interesting to watch this weekend play out. As if the Braves continue to play their outfield as shallow as they are now with Closing pitcher up there, most teams are going to shorten up, but they've been doing it for just about everybody. We noted Cincinnati earlier. Corner guys as well. 
interesting to see if they get burnt playing that shallow in this big ballpark. Try by Hamill it was a good at bat. And you know what? He got that guy to third because a wild pitch was thrown he in the sequence. He induced that wild pitch by, by the, the sheer fact that he. And I, it sounds like I'm being facetious, but the sheer fact that he can handle the bat a little bit. You know, they threw him that two-strike slider in the dirt. Probably didn't want to throw it in the dirt, but but if you're a hitter up there with Say my skill set, just to pick a name. You know, it's probably here, Heater. You know, go right. ahead. 18,000 all time major leaguers. You just randomly picked Jim Deshaies. <laughs> I don't want to throw anybody else under the bus. There's any number of us that would fall into that category. Field still back, except for Garcia at third. Cubs try to get on the board here. And they will. As Fowler grounds to Peterson, it's two to one. Dexter picks up his 27th run batted in. And to cash in that leadoff double. Walks the gauntlet of appreciation. Second major league run. For Almora. Now Hayward with two outs and nobody on. Fun to watch those guys come to the big leagues, isn't it? Those young oh, kids. I love them. Excited yeah. and happy and fired up. I bet you, you know, we'll ask a guy like Addison Russell or Chris Bryant, who aren't far removed from their first go around. I'm sure they're giddy about it. It's fun to see your teammates mm -hmm. have that moment. Stay gold, pony boy. Round ball the other way to Garcia. He was positioned perfectly to kind of take away the hole over there. And the inning is over. It's now 2 1 Atlanta. Miss Sportsnet Central on CSN Chicago. The top stories, highlights, and can't miss interviews 
on your favorite teams plus the latest on tonight's pivotal game four matchup between the Cavs and Warriors. Watch Sportsnet Central tonight after Cubs post game live on CSN Chicago. Albert Almora Jr. Lead off double moved to second on a wild pitch scored on a Dexter Fowler ground out. Muhammad Ali laid to rest today. There's sad news uh, around the world of sports. Gordy Howe, considered to be the greatest hockey player who ever lived, has passed away at 88 years old. And that one eludes Russell. Darno is aboard on what might be an error. There was a lot of talk early in the season, JD, about the surface here at Turner oh, Field. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, it is an error. Well, that's pretty good pace to it. Jumped up on him a little bit. Believe that's just the second fielding error he has committed. He's committed three or four throwing errors. Um, in late April, Dave Roberts, the Dodgers were here as Freeman lost to left. Uh, he called the uh, infield surface shoddy. It just kind of makes you wonder since it, you know it's the last year here. And I'm sure the grounds crew takes a lot of pride and to get the field ready to go but they had a ton of errors early on in, in this ballpark so. We'll have to do a little reconnaissance and ask the guys tomorrow what. The what the field was out there. There were 22 errors made in this park in the first eight games here. Runner goes, pitch misses for a ball. And Darno is safe. Took a little while for Montero to get that ball out of his uh, glove into his throwing hand. Then didn't get a lot of steam behind that throw. Did you ever see Gordy Howe play in person? Um, when I was a kid. I believe we saw the Red Wings play in the uh, Montreal Forum, so I'm, I must have. I was so little, I don't remember much about it. I do remember getting Mickey Redmond's autograph. Mick. Lined in the right, Hayward the slide and the catch. Nicely done by Jason Hayward. We've seen several of those catches. I was just going to say if there's a signature Jason Hayward play that's it right there closing quickly sliding to catch a sinking line drive boy he gets a great break on this ball. Brave fans have seen that over and over and over again. More hard contact though Braves getting some really good swings at Jason here tonight. Not that Jason the other Jason. Yeah Mr. Hockey was known. For being a brutal player. I mean, he could do it all. He had the, they called the Gordy Howe hat trick, which I guess he only had three or four times, and that was a goal and assist in a fight. fight. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, he backed down to no one on the ice, but was as gentle and as open and friendly off the ice. It's kind of the quintessential hockey player, right? You yeah. often hear that. It's so the so toughest guys were the nicest. Somebody on Twitter um, made a comparison between uh, Gordy Howe and Nolan Ryan. It's the same kind of competitive edge. Sure. Sure. Uh, Nolan wasn't afraid to knock you down. Gordy Howe wasn't afraid to 
Let his elbows speak for him from time to time. Wayne Gretzky earlier today called into the Dan Patrick show and called Mr. Howe the greatest player who ever lived. High praise from uh, someone called the Great One. Yeah. Tommy Glavin was drafted, I believe, by the Boston Bruins. Real good hockey player. And later lost some teeth, but not in a in a hockey fight. Remember, he was in a cab. From LaGuardia to Shea Stadium, and that's right. Face slammed into the that, uh, protective glass there between the, the back seat and the front seat. Should have taken the Van Wick. One, two. Ooh. Just missed. You see it? Took Hamill deep in the second. We're not getting rewarded for making a heck of a pitch. Cheryl tugging it back, trying to influence. That deflects off Hamill, and everybody's safe. Let's see where it got Jason. Leaving everybody back, so let's just go. He's, he's, he's a little annoyed right now. Looks like right thigh. Giving up some hard contact, and when it comes back and whacks you in the leg, it really gets your attention. 5th hit he has allowed. His flowers. Braves lead two to one. Atlanta will come back to Wrigley Field because of a rainout earlier this season, on July 7th, for the makeup game. See Hamill working up a pretty good lather. 91 humid degrees as we got started. Flowers went. It's one and one. Flowers uh, signed a two-year deal with the uh, Braves. Let's say. Uh, a team option for a third year returning to his original organization originally drafted by the Braves before being traded along to the uh, White Sox. Braves actually drafted him twice. He didn't sign the first time. They drafted him again. He did sign. They're quite fond of the big guy. It's from around this neck of the woods, isn't he? He He's is. a Georgia guy. From Roswell, just north of the city. 2-2 two, two on him. Spazio looks on with Mike Borzello. First and third, two down. Yeah, you mentioned the heat and humidity here tonight. Well, it's only going to get hotter over the weekend and the next two days. Uh, we have day games here. So it's really going to be an issue. Late afternoon tomorrow, three o'clock Chicago time start here on CSN. 
play by Montero to get out there and keep that ball in front of him. Just about everything's been middle away tonight to the right handed hitters. Has such a good slider. Um, maybe a little more just fastballs in. Keep them honest. Three two swing and a miss and that will end the inning. So this week. Have to say goodbye to the greatest. And the Mr. Hockey. Trivia. Don't miss a new episode of Beer Money Sunday night at 7 on CSN. Watch fans test their knowledge and win big. Beer Money presented by Coors Light Sunday at 7 on CSN Chicago. You know what they need to bring back? What's that? Celebrity bowling. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Let's see if Ernest Borgnine can pick up the yeah. seven pin there. Say me TV. Somebody has aired uh, some of those old episodes. Chris Bryant takes a slider for a strike. Tom Glavin, by the way, was drafted by the Los Angeles Kings. Los Angeles Kings. 1984 NHL draft. But he's originally from the Boston area, right? That's yes. Probably. Freeman over will not have a play. It's a rare mix. We talked a lot about. Uh, Two sports stars the other day during one of our games with that hockey baseball. You don't see a whole lot of that. And I guess Gordy Howe had the Gordy Howe hat trick twice. It's kind of funny that's what it became, even though he only had two of them. Bryant strikes out. It's number four. Or Bud Norris. Then we want to send out get well wishes to Chicago Bulls senior manager of publications Tony Hyde recovering from knee replacement surgery. Watching our game tonight. Feel better Tony. All one on Ben Zobrist. In the big day he had on Wednesday. Two hits, including a home run. He had no hits in his previous six games. 
And about a, th a third of his season strikeouts came in a 10 day period. 3 and 0. Here's the home run from Philadelphia. Very windy day. And you know when he hits a home run he just very gently sets mm -hmm. his bat down. Yeah, no bat flip. No showmanship. Not in his nature. Full count three and two. If you come to Turner Field after this season, it would be to see a Georgia State football game. That's the plan. We're going to make this into a college football facility. And I guess where Old Fort County Stadium sat, the plans are to make that their baseball stadium. Ball strike three. Norris comes all the way back. And gets him. I mean, nice pitch with the slider. Legendary jam band Fish makes its Wrigley Field debut on Friday, June 24th. The second show will take place on the 25th. Secure the best seats in the house at Cubs.com. A limited number of private suites are still available. Experience one of the hottest shows this summer in style. Call the Premier Team at 773-404-4200 or visit Cubs.com slash Premier. Montero with a single his first time up. And uh, one week from tonight, we're going to be uh, rocking Metro. Hot stove, cool music. Liz Fair headlining. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's after the uh, Cubs play the Pirates. We got to get you up there. Tambourine, maybe? Spoons? Triangle? Washboard? I think you could rock the kazoo. <laughs> Play a pretty good air harmonica. Sink the Seinfeld theme. Cubs go down quietly, trailing 2 1 in the fourth. Albert Almora Jr. has already had an impact on defense. Showing off the arm there, and then this play earlier tonight, just spectacular. Talking with Joe uh, before the game, he said that play on Wednesday in the first inning changed the attitude of the game. Joe really likes John Lackey with a lead. He gave the Phillies nothing. 
that's a game that ends up being a blowout. But you know, if the yeah, you never jump know. on top, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you never, never know. know. Yeah. You never know how it's going to play out. Peterson just back from the minors to replace Kelly Johnson, and he just got hit by a pitch. Johnson traded a couple of days ago to the Mets. Kelly Johnson is to the Mets slash Braves as Chris Coughlin is to the Cubs. As he's bounced back and forth between those two teams. Good action on the curveball there for Hamill, but unfortunately, it ends up on the top of Peterson's foot. So back into the stretch he goes. Punting situation for Norris, but as we noted and witnessed, he can swing the bat a little bit. It's down a pretty good one. And Baez will apply the tag. Javier Baez plays defense like he wants to turn a quadruple play <laughs> on every play. And his manager loves it. The key is obviously not to get too far ahead of yourself, but man, he pounced on that thing and was yeah, but trying to find another out somewhere. Yeah, be aggressive. He's so quick. He's cat like he'd be a heck of a point guard. I imagine he'd be very creative if if he were. He's on this one bare handing it and peeking over his shoulder to see if there's a play to be made. I feel like, like Bias is the point guard. It's like, give me the ball. I want the ball. Yeah, and he might, he'd be that guy who every now and then would try to make that impossible pass. And yeah, he probably shouldn't have tried that, but it sure is exciting to watch. And, and with that approach, he's going to make some spectacular plays. Smith, a 23-year-old rookie, 50th Major League game. Most of his starts have come batting ninth. He's playing left. And taps one. Hamill can't get it, and everybody's safe. And if Jason wasn't going to be able to make a play on that ball, nobody was with Smith's speed. Smith uh, comes from a family of athletes. His dad played football at Florida AM. His mom was a track star, his sister as well. So they've hit a number of balls hard here tonight, and now they get a little uh, good fortune on a slow roller. Men can throw home double play depth in the middle against Inciarte. Smith likes to run. He hasn't been very successful. Eight steals. He's been caught in major league leading seven times. Braves are out hitting the Cubs 6 3, uh, scoring them 2 to 1 on a couple of solo shots in the second. And say Arte, a uh, very good contact man, doesn't strike out much. Smith takes off, hits his uh, fly to left. Smith touched second. Cubs may have a play over there, and they do. I think. I don't know if he retouched second. I thought he did. I was watching okay. him. I thought he did, right. but, but Zobris uh, uh, apparently did not. So, so they're going to have appeal. There was no call made there. They have to appeal this. Right. 
So a sack fly makes it three to one. Smith did go past second base and when you do that you've got to retouch the bag on your way back to first. You're going to put the ball back in play and then make the appeal at second base. Come set step off. Out yep. Ben Zobrist all over it. And the run does count. Is this a challengeable play? Brian Snitker's going out to talk with uh, Chris Conroy, yeah. the second base umpire. Joe is going to the third base umpire, Jerry Meals, who's the crew chief. Snitker going to talk to Chris Conroy. So 1 4 on the putout, and the inning is over. I guess we should take a break, right? Yeah, let's go to break. Yeah, let's go to break. See you on the other side. All right. Get out of the inning, but the Braves do add to their lead. Uh, sack fly for in Ciarte. Malik Smith did not retouch second base. Unfortunately, we don't have a look at it, but he did briefly go by the bag and he did not retouch. Yeah, so and called out on appeal. Smart play there for base runner. Just, just stop just shy of the bag, and then we don't have to worry about. It. So the Braves. With the three runs have reached their uh, season average here in their home ballpark. Just a little bit better than that on the road. Here's Baez comes down by two for the second time. Norris last time out went five innings. That was his first start since April. Through 91 pitches. We don't need to piece together how that inning ended, but that was not a force play at second. A typical force play because once the ball's caught, the batter's out. Right? So it's on the appeal. Right. Mm -hmm. They got the out. Mm -hmm. Can't say I've seen a play quite like that. Three and one on Baez. Hitters count, and he takes a big swing and fouls. And 
we will try another three two. Bo Porter, the Braves third base coach, former Cub player, former Astros manager. So you, when you looked at it, you thought he did retouch. I didn't think he did. Yeah, I thought I didn't think he went by the base. I thought he went to the base, put his foot on the bag, and then after the catch, just turned around and retreated to first. Another three two and a line shot right at the third baseman Garcia. The nature of baseball four hit day the other day for Baez today grounds into a double play then he hits a rocket that turns into an out. Talking about that play. One and one. Norris into his motion and a strike to make it one and two. Holly San Luis Obispo. His alma mater, sixth rounder of the Astros, 2006. Mike Kruko. Yep. San Luis Obispo alum. It's kind of the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum of colleges, isn't it? What a long name. Cal Poly State University, San Luis Obispo. Polytechnic Institute right. at San Luis Obispo. I believe the uh, great Casey Candell also matriculated there. Okay. Good word. Matriculated. Count holding. Follow in game live on CSNChicago.com presented by State Farm. Norris is from Novato, California, just north of San Francisco and Marin County. Beautiful part in Northern California. On a hop, Garcia leaves his feet and a throw right on the money from his knees. Wow. It'll be a play of the week nominee. Mm -hmm. Adonis Garcia, who uh, has really had a lot of struggles defensively since coming to the big leagues. A spectacular play here, however. Baez hits a line drive for an out. Russell hits it sharply. That turns into an out. To spring off that back knee. To get a little something behind that throw. Hmm, not so sure about that one. Swing, but counts as a full one. 
talking earlier about Kevin Seitzer talking about his hitters and needing to be more aggressive and the point he made is you, you need to get fooled every now and then if you're not getting fooled you're, you're not being aggressive enough. You're not going to be ready to time and get to a good fastball if you're always in that defensive posture. I believe it was a one ball two strike pitch that Almora hit his double on last time up they tried to beat him with an elevated fastball let's see what they they do here everything's been down so far in this sequence. We'll try a little two seamer down and in. Broken bat roller to second. Peterson's got it. The inning is over. Norris holding down the Cubs so far. It's 3 1 Atlanta. First of three Cubs and the Braves split a rain shortened set at Wrigley Field earlier this season. Cubs with the best record in baseball Braves have the worst but Atlanta has the lead. As J.D. mentioned six and twenty three at home worst home record. Cubs with the best road mark at nineteen and nine. Strike Chase Darno is the older brother of Travis. That's catcher. Braves lost their first nine games this season and then suffered another uh, eight game losing streak later on in April. Travis Darno has been on the disabled list uh, since late April. The right rotator cuff strain. Missed a bunch of time last year. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Clark's crew presented by Jewel Osco and Tropicana is the official Cubs the kids club team up with Clark as a member of Clark's crew and get kids specific perks experiences and merchandise visit Cubs.com slash kids to sign up your young Cubs so they can be a part of the fun all season long. 
Freeman uh, nothing for two a strikeout and a fly out. He was on the DL twice last year. In the long uh, consecutive games played streak. Um, under contract through 2021 I believe is Freeman. He's 26 years of age. You see him near the top of the leaderboard in terms of line drive percentage. And they kind of reversed course. They, they gave Freeman. Long term deal Craig Kimbrell. And they brought in. At the time known as BJ Upton now Melvin Upton. Tehran, did he sign a, an extension? He's still here. Yeah. He signed through 2019. Freeman bounces to Baez. And he'll get it to Hamill at the bag for the out. Here's the uh, Cubs upcoming schedule brought to you by Travel Wisconsin. Plan your fun today at TravelWisconsin.com. Arietta and Whistler tomorrow. Lester and Blair on Sunday. And then we head to Washington, D.C. Aaron Blair pitched uh, a nice game at Wrigley, but uh, obviously has had his struggle since. The um, the stat whip walks plus hits per innings pitched. Cubs pitchers uh, ranking coming into play tonight. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and fourteenth in Major League Baseball in that department. I think it was Lackey, Hendricks, Arietta, Lester, something like that. Two through five. I'll look it up. Okay. It's in the, uh, in the notes. I saw it somewhere. That's a strike. Mm, look at the, the National League leaderboard at two through five. Lackey, Hendricks, Arietta, Lester. Hamill is in the top 20. Baez again to Hamill. And the inning is over. After five, three, one, Braves. Insider all season long on CSNChicago.com, presented by Nationwide's Jeff Vukovic, serving the community for 38 years. Go to JeffVuk.com. Nationwide is on your side. 
Cubs trail by a pair as Hamill fouls. And the Cardinals are playing this weekend in Pittsburgh. You know, Pirates lead tonight two to nothing. They're in the seventh inning. Garrett Cole came out after two innings. Oh two. Slow chopper to the second baseman Peterson. Uh, right triceps tightness. Mm -hmm. 35 pitches. You notice the way the uh, organist here is playing? It sounds like a funeral. <laughs> yes. Fowler and that ball's going to get to the wall. It took off on Enciarte and it's a double. Notice that he was playing very shallow yep. and would have come back to bite him at some point and Fowler delivers a one out double. Fowler's been killing fastballs but this is a backdoor slider. One iron out there straight away center field. Runner in scoring position with one out. Pitch to Hayward. Swung on and missed. So Let's see if the Cubs can do some damage here. This is third time around against a guy who's pretty much been a two pitch pitcher here tonight. Now, it's been two very good pitches. He's had good velocity, pretty good location of the fastball, and he had real good action on the slider. One thing I just noticed, and I've seen some position players do this, I don't know if I've ever seen a pitcher of the back of his pants, the bottom. Over the heel. Look at that. Looks like he's got a spike through the uniform. Doesn't really mean anything. Kind of, kind of interesting. As you can tell, I'm at a loss for words to explain <laughs> its fashion choice there. Yeah. But it looks uncomfortable. It could be kind of pulling down on your, on your leg, but it works for him. He's got a little left hander in him. Tip, strike three. Hayward is out. Two down here, the sixth. Six strikeouts and no walks for Norris. He's been very sharp. He has been, and he's also been, you know, he's been willing to challenge when he is behind in the count. You know, there's been some fastball counts where he's gone ahead and pumped it in there, and the Cubs really haven't been able to do a whole lot with it. Are a swing away from tying it here with a home run hitter at the plate. 
hit homered on Wednesday. The Cubs won. They've gone 11 and 2 when he has left the yard. I don't think that one has the distance though. Hustling all the way, thrown out by the shortstop Darno. Still 3-1 in the sixth. Checking and an official Cubs MasterCard debit card only available at your local Wintrust Community Bank. Go to Wintrust.com slash Cubs to learn more. Member FDIC. They do the uh, the tool race here. Got a little aggressive. The, the paintbrush and the drill. Garcia and the slider is a called strike in between innings Joe Madden out having a chat with Jerry Meals the crew chief and I still think they're discussing that appeal play and I don't there's a ball lined in the right center for a leadoff single it's a timing play I mean, I think they got it right I, I don't know what the, the argument would be at this point but We'll find out after the game. We'll ask Joe, and maybe he went out to talk about something unrelated. Yeah, I'm not sure. What a day for Garcia. This is his third base hit, home run. And then he hit that line drive off uh, Jason's leg for a single, and now punches one into right. By the way, uh, Jason Hayward's brother Jacob, I mentioned the other day, uh, plays for. Miami of Florida. They are playing uh, right now in the bottom of the sixth against Boston College Super Regionals uh, in Florida. And uh, the Hurricanes lead 4 3. Jacob is batting sixth, playing left, and he's 0 for 2 with a walk. Strikes on Flowers. That 
is high. Uh, the I guess the organist here has a Twitter account and mm -hmm. will give you the walk up songs. They're very topical for each team. He was playing Freebird I think when kind of had that dirgy funeral kind oh, of sound. Yeah it feels like when the Cubs come up it just kind of has a very sad depressing. He goes, he goes mournful. <laughs> yes he does. Garcia was on the move and Flowers fouled. Left hander Travis Wood is up in the Cubs bullpen. Flowers I'm trying to stay inside the ball trying to shoot it the other way doesn't want to roll over. Bounce into a double play a little slider way You're trying to get him to pull that pitch something good could happen for Jason. He struck him out on a foul tip. Host your best customers and guests in a private suite at Wrigley Field the new Bean investment suites can accommodate anywhere from 15 to 55 guests and include food all you can drink beverages and parking. Book your premier experience at the park for a game or a concert. Visit Cubs.com slash premier. Peterson takes ball one. Hit by a pitch scored in the fourth. And a sack fly by Enciarte. Ultimately ended the inning as Malik Smith was called out on appeal for not retouching second. Runner takes off. A chopper past Bryant and Russell will barehand and throw, but never had a prayer. It's an infield hit. Braves playing a little hit and run here. They tried it earlier in the ball game. This time it works. So breaking to cover second base does a heck of a job just to recover and, and make any kind of a play on that ball. Otherwise, Garcia probably gets to third base. And Snitker and Bench coach Terry Pendleton talk things over. Bunted uh, foul. Situation here for the Cubs. You've already got one out in the inning. So I don't have to be too aggressive trying to nail a lead runner here. I mean, if it's there, take it, but most importantly, make sure you get an out. Swings away with Baez about 40 feet from home plate. Yeah, well, as the pitch was being made, Baez was, was right up in his grill. And Zobris was already at first base, so the entire right side of the infield was wide open. To Zobris. So Norris with a single and two sack bunts. That's exactly what we were talking about earlier with Javi. <laughs> he didn't, didn't have to make the, the play in this fashion. He's certainly capable of it. He's got all, all kinds of time here and he throws that ball off balance but on the money. That will be it for Hamill. 
a little bit of inexperience too. He has not played a whole lot of first base. So you've got a left handed batter Malik Smith coming up Travis Wood. Will come on to pitch when we return. Is Southpaw Travis Wood and as he gets loose, crew chief Jerry Meals is just on the headset. We're talking to New York. So a 3 1 ball game, and it will be Wood against Smith, second and third, two outs. Travis Wood having a very nice season, and a big reason why is first pitch efficiency, throwing strike one 70% of the time. Couple of days it's been for the White Sox. It's low. And Matt Latos, Jimmy Rollins cut. They signed uh, Justin Morneau, put him on the DL. Tim Anderson's coming up. Austin Jackson, knee surgery. And a 3 2 lead in the fourth at home against Kansas City. For sale night tonight. Sale. Two runs through four innings. Giving up a couple of home runs. You mentioned the Cardinals Pirates. Both teams 10 games behind the Cubs going into play tonight. Backhanded by Bryant. Turned out to be a bit of a tricky play, but he makes it. And the inning is over. They strand two. It's still 3 1 Atlanta.
Braves three to one. The Cubs are celebrating Bud Fridays in the Budweiser bleachers all season long on Friday June 17. Budweiser will provide save Ferris t-shirts to up to the first 5000 early arriving fans 21 and older in the Budweiser bleachers get here early for details visit Cubs.com slash Fridays. Uh, no walks in this game for either team. Remember Zobris his uh, last at bat started three and oh and eventually struck out. And as you said it is getting late only nine outs to go for the Cubs who trail by two. And started the night leading the majors in on base percentage at 436 and third in the NL in OPS. 44. Norris with his 0 2, and it's now 1 and 2. So essentially three sliders there from Norris. I guess the second one was more of a cut fastball, but is breaking in on uh, on Zobra's first one was a, kind of a back door had a little more tilt found the strike zone and then cutter real sharp down and in and then the softer slider looking for a swing and miss on the ground is second Peterson makes the play Lori and Avila back to back for the White Sox so it's now five two in the fourth and here's Montero. Machado, Jordano Ventura each suspended for their fight the other night. Nine games for Ventura, four for Machado, but they have both appealed. Son, as you say, Cavan. Cavan. Fifth round pick of the Blue Jays. Notre Dame second baseman. Time flies, man. I can remember when that kid was. Five years old. And two bounces to Peterson. I guess this would be a question for people who do this uh, for a living, uh, draft amateur players, but. Yeah, if everything else is equal and you see a surname that, that sounds like a Hall of Famer, does that matter? I guess everyone, I'm sure the answer is it depends on the individual, but you know, you've got two second basemen, kind of similar yeah, profiles, yeah, so but the one guy's a son of a Hall of Fame mm -hmm. player, yeah, does that I think, matter? I think pedigree probably matters a little bit. Baez takes low. Two 
one and one. Norris pitching tonight like he wants to stay in the rotation. We talked earlier about uh, his uh, superior work out of the bullpen this year and the fact that he had really struggled as a starter to start the season. He's been lights out here tonight. Made his major league debut against the Cubs July 29, 2009, with the Astros at Wrigley Field. In relief of Mike Hampton. Three innings, one run that particular day. Way up in the air. This should end the Cubs seventh. In Ciarte has it. Stretch time from Atlanta. Braves three, Cubs one. Claim your spot in our lineup for season tickets. It's easy and free to register. For details, visit cubs.com slash waiting list. Three one Atlanta. You know why they chop here? Why is that? Because Deion Sanders played for the Braves. He also played at Florida State and when he was playing for the Braves in spring training. Bunch of fans were doing the tomahawk chop, and, they, and then when Dion came to Atlanta with the big club, he just continued it. I didn't know that. In Ciarte with a base hit. I mean, it's keeping in keeping with the whole Braves theme and the, you know, the tomahawk and the logo and everything. But it was it it, it, it didn't happen here until Dion Sanders. That was the impetus. Comes Chris Bazio before Darno bats. Follow Cubs Baseball Live with the MLB.com at Bat app. Stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone and tablet. Adam Warren. Lester Strode giving him the scouting report. Possible hitters he will face. Chase and Jace in their lineup tonight. And 
Francisco Cervelli had to leave the uh, Pirate game tonight. Left hand pain. So they lost Cole and Cervelli tonight. See what catching Cole would lead to some left hand pain. And Cervelli has, has really been a workhorse for the Pirates. Six starts so far. Fouled away. We will see the Pirates when we return home to Wrigley Field from today. Close watch. And then see Arda, he's uh, three out of six in stolen bases this year. Last year he stole 21, was caught 10 times. Choking up a little bit on the bat with two strikes. One and two. It came in with a 245 earned run average, 27 appearances, three wins in relief. Oh, a good try there, a little yeah. backdoor cutter, just didn't quite make it back to the corner. Pretty keen eye by Darno to lay off that one. To the right side, Zobris will spin, get one. That's Russell at second. He decided not to make the throw. And now the Braves are reviewing the replay at second base to see if Russell came off the bag to catch that feed from Zobris. No challenge. Zobris has watched Ben's foot kick out on him here as he plants. He talked earlier about some of the infield issues early in the season. I wonder if that's what Dave Roberts was referring to. Freeman takes ball one. Park was built for the Olympics and became the new home of the Braves in 1997. Their old ballpark just across the way, Fulton County Stadium, was known as the launching pad. This one not quite as home run friendly, much bigger. Park Sun Trust Park will hold 41,000 seats 
So a bit smaller than this place. And it will be in the suburbs. Freeman takes ball four. First walk tonight. Pick away at that outside corner and then just couldn't quite find it. And then willing to accept his walk. Marcakis with two men on. Fouled away. Good on base skills. Has not hit for any home run power since he became a Brave. He has four home runs since the start of last year. Used to be a guy you could count on. 10 to 15. One time hit 20. Career high 23 with Baltimore. Yeah, he's another guy they've got some money committed to. I think he signed a four year deal. He did. Um, there's been some talk about Marquez uh, perhaps moving along in a trade. If we were able to. Uh, Flash a little more power, he'd be a lot more attractive. As a uh, right fielder, mm -hmm. Giants come to mind with Hunter Pence being injured. A good defender, and again gets on base a lot, takes a lot of walks. Two and one on him. Wood now set at the belt. And here it is, line to left. Almora. Slides makes a catch and everybody back to their bases. Two outs. Another outstanding play by Al Moore out there in left field. That's how quickly he gets to his feet. I don't think Marcakis tonight. All three of the outfield catches. Plus catches. Been him. It's been him. Yeah. Pitching change for the Cubs in the seventh. We'll be back. Pen here's Adam Warren. Warren replaces Wood. Warren uh, working for the 22nd time. A couple rough ones of late. Put that ERA up a little bit. Overall, he's thrown the ball quite well. He's a child of the South, born in Birmingham, Alabama. Went to high school in North Carolina and then on to the University of North Carolina. So he faces Garcia 
who has homered and gone three for three. Darno is at second. Freeman, the runner at first. Ninth major league game for Adonis Garcia. And a strike call. Had not done much since coming back from the minors. He was on their opening day roster. Spent three weeks back in the AAA in May and had gone six for 42 since his return before the big night tonight. One and one. Two was better than one. Yes, it was. John Barber splitting the difference. Fun to watch Warren pitch. You know, just you know, has very good command, especially for a relief pitcher. A lot, of, you know, relief pitchers tend to rely on stuff more than command. Most, not all. You know, he's a command guy. He has. He has good stuff. He didn't have the, you know, the Pedro stroke fastball. He makes very few mistakes in the strike zone. He wants to have a chat with Montero. So uh, Adam went to New Bern High School in New Bern, North Carolina. You know who else went there? Uh, I don't. <laughs> Elwood Edwards. He's the voice of AOL's You've Got Mail. Really? Something else I didn't know prior to tonight. Three and one. Well, he's in a bit of a bind here. Yielding. Didn't want to give in. Combination of his ability to make pitches with his breaking ball and his awareness of the guy in the box. Garcia rarely walks. So you feel pretty confident if you make a pitch close to the strike zone, you're probably going to get a swing there. Runners on the move with two outs. Uh -oh. Taken out. Obviously, he was trying to fall onto the warning track, but even unintentionally, not allowed. Yeah, they're trying to appeal. They're, they're going to ask the security guy to put the headset on and talk to New York. What did you guys have back there? Did you have unintentional fall? What do you think? All four, and they're loaded. A whole lot of just missing for for Warren and a, a rare walk taken by Garcia who's obviously seeing it well here tonight three hits and a walk for Adonis. One more look. It wasn't a great effort to not. Tumble completely onto the field. But yeah, you're not you're not supposed to be on the field of play. So I get it. Still down there pleading his case. Come on, man! It's fireworks night. Just trying to handle the ground ball. Nancy Grace will spend the next ten <laughs> days on her show talking about that play. They're going to show a little leniency here. Deep to center, Fowler though. 
makes the catch to end the inning. Still 3-1. the series Jake Arietta goes for win number 10 coverage starts at 2 30 with Cubs pregame live presented by Fields Auto on CSN Chicago. But Norris done after seven stellar innings and here's veteran right hander Jim Johnson. Braves with a bullpen ERA of 4.34. Lower third in the National League. Johnson has had his struggles. Throws his fastball a lot, likes to sink it. He sees 0 and 4, has a DRA of 702 through uh, 18 appearances, 16 and two thirds. Allowed 16 hits, walked eight, struck out 18. Good curveball. He works to Addison Russell and it's a bit out of the zone up according to Sean Barber. Johnson took the loss at Wrigley Field on April 29th. Up three runs, only got one out. Two hopper to the shortstop, Darno, one away. There hasn't been much happening here for the Cubs tonight. Four base hits in the ball game. Norris didn't walk anybody. Oh for six with men in scoring position. Here's Almora, one for two with a double and a run. The Cubs run coming back in the third inning after an Almora leadoff double. It was a uh, ground out off the bat of Dexter Fowler that played at him. There's a good hook.
two and two. Chris Coglin on deck. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Here is Coglin. Second tour of duty as a Chicago Cub. Chris got off to a slow start in Oakland and never really gained any traction. He's striking out more frequently than normal. Probably just a case of starting to press. Hitting just a buck 46. And he lines out. But a bullet right at Peterson. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Still 3-1 Braves. Grim. Still on for the 27th time. His ERA has been uh, on the rise a little bit here of late as well. The guy with local ties. He went to the University of Georgia in Athens. 1 and 0 on Peterson. Justin, 27 years old, 6'3, 210. Former Texas Ranger. That ball lifted foul. Out of play to left. 30,547. Paid crowd tonight. Braves averaging uh, just a little over 22,000 per game this year. Well, Mora will have to play that one on a bounce. Peterson on for the third time in his return from the minor leagues. Jeff Francoeur. Looking for Johnson. Closer is former Cub Rodis Viscaino. From his knees, Montero's throw is late. Peterson in with a steal. The 
Terrell has not had a lot of success throwing out base runners this year. By the time that ball got to home plate, he didn't have much of a chance. Brian Snitker, what do we What's have here? We have Somebody asked for time on the field. But Is there batter interference? So he goes back to first. Sometimes you have that unintentional batter interference. I think you said it was me. Oh, he called time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now Grimm needs to get a two hopper right at the shortstop. To extras Cardinals and Pirates 3 3 in the 10th in Pittsburgh. Downtown Pittsburgh was ready to celebrate last night, Stanley Cup, but the Sharks have extended that series to at least six. Rams 1 1 outside. <laughs> Miggy setting up in the left hand of the batter's box. Wants to make sure he has a shot at uh, Peterson if he runs. Side again, runner not going, three and one. Steven Strasburg is 10 and 0. Nationals beat the Phillies nine to six. Tommy Joseph hit a couple homers for the Phillies. And a losing cause. Ground ball in the left. Two on nobody out. Yeah, I'm not sure what the thinking was throughout that sequence. Montero setting so far up off the outside corner. Difficult to execute pitches when the catcher set way up like that and then falling behind had to had to challenge. So the manager making a visit to the mound, the whole infield. Listening intently. Yeah, well, you know, earlier uh, in a bunt situation with, with one out and in the middle innings, or early innings of this ball game. So, well, the, you know, the focus has got to get it out now. Uh, at this stage of the game, you're in the bottom of the eighth. You're already down two. So th this is a time to, you know, put on a wheel play, do something aggressive, try to nail a lead runner, maybe even get a double play. Double play would be tough. With Smith running. It's assuming he's bunting, he might not be bunting. Peterson at second, Francoeur at first. And Smith shows, takes ball one. Edwin Encarnacion, game ending homer, a big win for the Blue Jays in 10 over the Orioles. Ends Baltimore's five game win streak. Hold it back in time for ball two. Smith has been swinging the bat a little bit better of late, so this this may be a situation where they take the bunt off, assuming he's going to get a fastball here on two and zero. They might give him a chance just to go ahead and take a take a whack at one. On both fronts, kept the bunt on, and he didn't get challenged with the fastball. Automatic 
3 0 strike. By the way, uh, I don't think time was called in that play that sent Peterson back to first. Montero might have made contact with a home plate umpire. Maybe that's why the umpire is pointing to himself. Yep. Yep. Because if time were called, there would not have been a pitch. And then Correct. That was a 1 0. Three, two from Grimm. They're loaded. Well, the point is essentially moot, but yeah, well, it's for always posterity. Good, always good, yeah, to know exactly what transpired. Chris Basio on the phone with the bullpen. Let's see the uh, Montero. Yeah, I didn't see it in real oh. time. Let's take a look. Ah, oh, yeah, he hit his mask, and so. Umpire interference and sent the runner back. Hmm. A tip to all you young catchers if you see the base runner get a huge jump, when you draw your arm back, try to get a piece of the umpire. So, trouble here, and it will not be Justin Grimm to try to get out of it. Pitching change Clayton Richard we believe is coming in. We'll be back. And in a bind here. Three on, nobody out. Yeah, he's going to need all of his genius here. Um, he's an extreme ground ball pitcher, so uh, he fits the description of the guy you want in this situation. Uh, he's not had a lot of luck this year, that ERA ballooning now to 7.20. Um, you know, you get so many ground balls and they found a lot of holes. Um, Batting average on balls in play against him well up over 400. So a bit of misfortune there for Clayton. I'm not going to say he's he's thrown the ball great, but I think he's pitched better than that the 7.20 ERA would indicate. You know, it's still a small sample. The way he is used, a hit or two at a time. Got a chance to be a bit of a hero here. If the Cubs have any chance at all, they're going to have to wiggle out of this mess and really limit the damage. Field in. Lefty lefty matchup. 
Richard and NCRT. Peterson third, Frank Gore second, Smith first. Here we go. Base hit to the drawn in infield. They'll go station to station as a run scores. It's four to one. Arte um, been much more aggressive here tonight than we normally see him swinging early. So two RBIs for Inciarte tonight. And it's Darno. Infield still in. Beat the A's tonight in Cincinnati. Two to one. Two runs in the seventh did it. Anthony DiSclafani returning from the DL. Pitched well tonight. Got a no decision. Six innings, eight hits, one run. Another one tapped foul. Still one and two. Mets are in Milwaukee this weekend. One one in the seventh tonight. And the pitch. He struck him out. One. Richard throws his sinker so often, hard to look for anything but against him. He came with a breaking ball there, made Darno look bad. Harvey tonight for the Mets. Six innings so far, two hits, and only one run allowed. Freeman. And a fly ball to deep left. Almora onto the warning track, makes the play, and three runners tagging, including Frank Coor, who scores. It's now five to one, and it takes away the save opportunity for Vizcaino in the ninth. I'd be tempted to uh, peel second base again. Smith, <laughs> I don't know if he left early, but he was flying into third base. Tough night, Nick Markakis. Three consecutive, well, three out of four, I should say, at bats. That was the first one. This was the second at bat. He grounded out to first in the fifth, and then in the seventh, what a laser that Almora handled in left again. the middle it'll be picked up by Russell and the inning is over the Braves add two to their lead both runs charged to Grimm it's five to one as we go to the ninth.
Texas Beverage Depot. Domus Garcia getting the scoring started for the Braves. Great defensive play. He's done it all tonight. Benny's Beverage Depot, the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. Yeah, two hits to go along with a home run plus a walk, so he's not made an out. And then the spectacular defensive play as well. So, a lot of work to be done here. Here's the former Cub, Vizcaino. Yeah, Vizcaino, an extreme hard thrower. Average fastball velocity. 97 miles per hour. He blew the save, got the win at Wrigley Field on May 1st. Get up an unearned run in the ninth inning. Then the Braves scored in the tenth. Yeah. 99 miles an hour. Now Dexter's been wearing out fastballs this year, but this is a this is this different animal here when it's 99 miles an hour. Got a pretty good hook too. To a hundred on that pitch. Hefty, hefty, hefty home run leaderboard. Chris Bryant took the lead on Wednesday over Anthony Rizzo, who scratched with back tightness tonight. Has only made five appearances with the Cubs in 2014. Spent much of his tenure with the Cubs coming back from injury. And sent back to Atlanta for Tommy Listella. Tommy John surgery he had in 2012. Started last year with an 80 game suspension. Positive PED test. Off the inside corner, two and two. Well, two goals here. One, make a miraculous comeback and win the ball game. Two, force this guy to throw some pitches. Perhaps rendering him unavailable for tomorrow if he throws too many. Hitters don't think that way. Managers do. Anderson's had an active night. Cubs have had one base runner since the Almora leadoff double in the third. That was the one out double by Dexter in the sixth. But Norris tonight, seven innings, a four hit baseball, didn't walk anybody. Struck out six. Hayward 0 for 3. Bet you there's a lot of folks out there thinking, you know what? The Cubs never score. They never play well after an off day. Well, that's not true. I looked it up. 
after scheduled off days this year they're five and one and they're averaging uh, better than seven runs per game. <laughs> But that's that's you know the, the reason why I looked is because we all feel that way as baseball fans. Yeah, right. it's come better flat after a day off. Yeah. Don't let the facts get in the way of a well, good general yeah. feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm telling you, it was the off day's fault. Up down by Bud Norris tonight for sure. One and two. Hamill went five and two thirds, gave up three runs, two on the homers. Two and two Bryant on deck. Saw Ben Zobrist in the hole. They need to pile up some base runners. Down four with only two outs left. Fourteen under Brian Snitker. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. And a happy homecoming for Jason Hayward. 0 for four, three strikeouts tonight. Yeah, I think the other thing, you know. You say yeah, you look flat or whatever. We're, we're in a pitcher's era. Cubs pitchers have dominated everybody else. The Cubs came in averaging 5.4 runs per game, third among all major league teams. Bryant bounces foul. The what if inning came in the second yep. back to back singles to get it started then Javi Baez bounced into a 6 4 3 double play. Oh two. That one disappeared. It's a foul tip, and that is the ball game. So Viscaino had to work, but he went one, two, three in the ninth. Not a save because the Braves were able to tack on. And baseball happened tonight. Yeah, it's the nature of baseball. You know, talked about it. How the uh, the Pirate, or, excuse me, the Braves had really struggled here in their home ballpark. Pitching matchup looked kind of lopsided. Bud Norris having that inflated e 